Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So if you felt that Kanye West Donda album felt messy and hurried, there's a good reason for that. According to legendary rock musician Todd Rundgren, who recorded a ton of material for Donda, Kanye rushed his 10th solo album purely so he could release it before Drake's Certified Lover Boy. Donda hit streaming services by surprise on August 29th, followed by Certified Lover Boy's arrival less than a week later on September 3rd. Rundgren, whose compositions have been sampled by everyone from Jay Dilla and Madlib to Frank Ocean and Fetty Wap, made the claim in an interview with Ultimate Classic Rock published on Tuesday, September 14th. I realized why they wrapped the whole thing up and put out what is obviously really raw, unprocessed stuff, he said. It's because Drake was running the whole process. He was too afraid that Drake would one-up him, so he hurried up and released the album the weekend before Drake could get his out. And in the end, Drake ate his lunch anyway. Todd isn't the only insider to suggest Kanye was keeping tabs on Drake while recording Donda. In July, Consequence claimed in a since-deleted tweet that Yeezy was looking for Drake's drop date before releasing Donda, perhaps explaining its multiple delays and sudden release. Whether Kanye's strategy, if Todd's claims is indeed true, paid off is up for debate. Donda currently holds a 53-100 score on Metacritic, tied with Jesus is King for his lowest rated album. Even though it earned Kanye his ninth consecutive number one album with over 300,000 first week sales, Donda was swiftly blown out of the water by Drake's certified lover boy, which shot to the top of the Billboard 200 after moving 613,000 units in its opening week, the biggest sales of 2021. Elsewhere in his Ultimate Classic Rock interview, Todd explained that he was drafted into work on Donda by Kanye West's close friend and collaborator 88 Keys, who's a big fan of his music and wanted to see the two musical greats work with each other. Todd said he accumulated three albums worth of Kanye stems over a year-long period and was happy to contribute to the record any way that he could. I didn't mind working on his gospel stuff. If you want to sing about Jesus, go ahead. I don't care. I'll help you do it, you know? If you want to sing about your troubles with your wife, go ahead and do it. I don't care. However, Todd ultimately grew frustrated with Kanye's creative process and doesn't know if the material he worked on made it onto the final version of Donda because his name doesn't appear anywhere in the album's credits. When it got into the home stretch in July, I just said, that's enough for me. I have no idea whether any of this is being used. There's a possibility that I'm actually in there somewhere. There's so much junk in that record. But what do you think about this? Do you think Kanye really did rush his album so it could drop before Drake did? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And be sure to subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.